The next question. Why did Sophie like her brother Joff more than any other person? From her perspective, what did he symbolize? Perspective मतलब उसकी नजर में उसके दृष्टिकोण से सिंबलाइज मतलब प्रतीक होना जॉब किस बात का प्रतीक था जॉब वॉज समथिंग लाइक ही आइडोलाइज हु शेयर्ड ऑल सीक्रेट्स विथ हिम सोफी ट्रस्टेड हिम सो मच that she shared all her secrets she knew that joff is one who would uh, uh, listen to her who would pay attention to her who would respond and at the same time he'll be friendly and so sophie like her brother joff more than any other person the next question what socio economic background did sophie belong to socio economic background what are the indications of family's financial status prashn thoda sa kathin hai lekin kahani mein bada spasht hai sophie ki samajik aur aarthik prishthabhumi ke bare mein ya uski परिवार की आर्थिक दशा के बारे में कहानी में कौन कौन से संकेत हैं इशारे कहां कहां पर हैं द आंसर इज सोफी बिलोंग टू ए लोअर मिडिल क्लास फैमिली स्मॉल हाउस सोशियो इकोनॉमिक बैकग्राउंड वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट सो द स्मॉल हाउस शोज दैट शी बिलोंग टू ए लोअर मिडिल क्लास फैमिली सेकेंड द हाउस वॉज नॉर्मली अनटाइडी साफ सुथरा नहीं था आपने देखा था कुर्सी कहीं रखी थी कुर्सी पर खिलौना रखा हुआ था कुर्सी की मदद से डायरेक्ट टिका हुआ था और एक ही दूसरे कमरे में वहाँ कमरे के अंदर मोटरसाइकिल का रिपेयर काम हो रहा था सो यू फाइंड दैट द हाउस वॉज स्मॉल दैट्स वन अनटाइडी सेकेंड Even the mobile was being repaired inside the house. They had very little space, and that too with a piece of paper on the floor. They didn't have proper instrument for making it, for repairing the mobile. Then at the same time, mother had to do her household work herself. You remember, she was uh, uh, she was stooping down on the sink. and was cleaning the utensils so if a lady herself is cleaning the utensil it must be a lower middle class kind of thing next proof to say that they belong to a uh, an average uh, social background is that uh, uh, jobs occupation job job occupation means job Joff used to go far away to learn the training. He was an apprentice mechanic. You remember, he was not the owner of a car company or anything. He was a mechanic, an apprentice mechanic. That means um, I told you, prashikshu, undergoing training. Then another proof is that he used to he had to travel far away each day on the other side of the city. another proof is jency's comment jency made her feel that we all have to go to biscuit factory after the school of is over we cannot think beyond it and few more hints jency gives through her own behavior these are all examples to prove that uh, their socio economic background was uh, an average background next talking about the text an exercise is given 
Sophie's dreams and disappointment. What do you have to write in this? You have to write in brief about Sophie's dreams and disappointment. Dreams about being close to Cassie, meeting her, meeting him, getting auto auto autograph and what not. Big world. Dreaming about being actress, another big dream. At the same time, she also dreamt of the fact that, you know, uh, in a world of fantasy again, that she is sitting on a bench and Cassie will come meeting to meet her. What a big thing. She expects a great footballer like Cassie will come to meet her. Either she is so beautiful, she is so handsome, she is so rich or something, whatever that may be. But the fact was that she thought Cassie will come to meet her. This speaks of the big make-believe world, make-believe world. But disappointment, where did she get disappointed? Firstly, when Joff broke the news to father and father snubbed. Joff broke the news to father about what Sophie was saying. The second disappointment, when she meets, when she uh, sits on a bench expecting that, uh, all in dreams of course, expecting that uh, Cassie will come and Cassie didn't turn up, Cassie didn't show up. That was another big disappointment. Third disappointment, when Gen C sort of asked her, hey, have you met Cassie? What is all going around in the city? Frank, Joff tells Frank something. Is that a story true? And that was a big disappointment for Sophie because she feared that the people would know what will happen. It's all cock and bull story. Cock and bull story means a kalpana ki kahani. Hai. And so that was another disappointment. The last is that the whole family was kind of uh, against her. Uh, such a uh, such a story making. Joff also questioned her. Father was always snubbing. She always felt scared that mother also might get involved. And so on and so forth. So very important thing is that uh, there had been a series of disappointments for her. Though story begins on a good note, she thinks big, but ends up in a very sorry state for Sophie. The next question is, why did Gen C discourage Sophie from having dreams? Why did Gen C discourage Sophie from having dreams? Matlab, Gen C ne Sophie ko sapne dekhne se kyo roka? Or kyo roka karti thi? The answer is simple. It's a question from the beginning of the story. She would discourage her knowing well that they come from a very ordinary family background. Number two, Jen, she was different in nature. She was opposite of the behavior of Sophie. So because of behavior also, Jen, she discouraged her. Thirdly, Sophie belonged to a middle class family, lower middle class family and the father was very aggressive kind of person and Gen C knew about it. Gen C knew that father would not like it. And you remember, what did she say? When the news 
was broken by Sophie about father knowing about it. So what did she say? And her answer was uh, simple. Was he very, very happy? So that was a very taunting way of saying. This is why. Uh, and plus, she knew that it is not easy to be an actress. It is not possible to have Cassie coming. It is not possible that you can so easily meet great players, footballers, or any celebrity for that matter, like that. She was a very practical girl. And that's the reason why she discouraged. It was a friendly advice to her, to, to Sophie, being given by Gen C all the time. The next question. Did Geoff keep his promise to Sophie? How do you know? क्या जेफ ने सोफी से किया हुआ वादा पूरा किया एंड हाउ डू यू फील दैट ही फुलफिल्ड और डिड नॉट फुलफिल द आंसर इज नो ही डिड नॉट फुलफिल ही डिड नॉट कीप द प्रोमिस वॉट वॉज द प्रोमिस दैट आई कीप इट टू सीक्रेट मैं इसे अपने तक ही रखूंगा बट यू नो दैट जॉफ टोल्ड हर फादर जॉफ टोल्ड फ्रैंक ही टोल्ड द स्टोरी टू फ्रैंक फ्रॉम फ्रैंक द स्टोरी गोज टू जेंसी एंड सो ऑन सो फोर्थ सोफी दिस टाइम कर्ज जॉफ कर्ज करना मतलब दोष देना बुरा भला कहना एंड दैट्स वाई शी कर्ज क्योंकि शी फेल दैट जॉफ हैज नॉट फुलफिल्ड हर प्रोमिस हिज प्रोमिस ऑफ कीपिंग इट अ सीक्रेट शी फियर्ड दैट विथ जैनसी नोइंग इट नाउ थ्रू फ्रैंक एंड फ्रैंक थ्रू जॉफ नाउ द होल नेबरहुड वुड नो and there will be problem if people from the neighborhood come down to her house asking about all these thing what going on sophie think of joff the next question all these questions are short in answer some of the questions are like you know you can extract it from the story but some answer some questions are of different nature where you have to write answer in your own word provided you have understood the story and so be careful about it so the next question is what did sophie think of joff sophie ne joff ke bare mein kya socha kya sochi she thought that joff is grown up and that his brother has seen a lot of places while she had hardly seen anything but her brother would never like uh, would never talk to her freely and was always away somewhere she wanted to share her brother's affection you remember she wanted that my brother loves me more than what he shows what he is doing and she felt that brother is slightly distant from me there is very less communication itna kam communication hota tha that the story writer says ki sophie ko lagta tha ki jaise ha zameen se patthar uthate hain aise hi mujhe har बार एक शब्द बोलना होता है कुछ बोलना होता है तो वो एक आध शब्द में जवाब दे देता है ही गिव आंसर वेरी ब्रीफली ही इज नॉट कम्युनिकेटिंग वेल एंड व्हेन ही इज नॉट कम्युनिकेटिंग वेल प्रोबेबली ही इज नॉट शोइंग अफेक्शन टू मी 
एंड सोफी वॉन्टेड हिज एफेक्शन सोफी उसका प्यार चाहती थी एक भाई के नाते स्नेह चाहती थी एक भाई के नाते बट दैट वॉज नॉट कमिंग बिकॉज जॉब फॉर डिफरेंट इन नेचर ही वॉज फोकस्ड ऑन हिज वर्क वो अपने काम में फोकस था ये फालतू की जो दुनिया थी जिसमें सोफी पड़ गई थी उससे वो बहुत दूर था प्लस ही वॉज नॉट इंटरेस्टेड ऑल्सो इन दीज काइंड ऑफ स्टोरीज एंड दैट इज वाई ही वुड स्नब सोफी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हाउ डिड सोफीज फादर रिएक्ट वेन ही लर्न ऑफ सोफीज मीटिंग विद डैनी कैसी does he believe in her story answer is very simple aggressive father became aggressive little while and uh, also angry and he did not believe in the story at all what makes you feel that he did not believe in the story you need to find out from the book and write it down the next question for whom does sophie ask danny kasi an autograph for whom does sophie ask danny kasi an autograph first of all did she really ask danny kasi no because she never met danny kasi it was all in dreams it was all in fantasy but in fantasy why she wanted autograph from danny kasi the answer is she wanted it for her younger brother derek she wanted it for derek that's a very simple answer unfortunately uh, both of them were uh, not having pen and so she feel that kaise will come next time next week and will give her an autograph but actually sophie was highly attracted by the young irish footballer highly attracted by the young footballer and it is this attraction that makes her uh, it attraction means ek divana pan that makes her you know dream of such things the next question how does sophie describe her imaginary meeting with danny kasi to joff joff ko wo kaise ye kalpana teel kahani batati hai mil mulakat ki baat batati hai aur joff kya kehta hai first of all joff does not believe job doesn't believe it at all secondly how does she describe what does she say she said that i met him at arcade royal arcade when i was looking through the window for shopping and there he stood by my side when i turned i found him standing by my side then i asked him because i could not believe I asked him are you kaise he replied yes i am he looked surprised that a small girl like sophie knows kaise but he says yes i am on this she asked for autograph and kaise replied that he would give her his autograph next week not now this is how the story is described by the story of imaginary meeting is described by sophie to joff and joff didn't believe sophie's father was fond of sports you agree give evidences next question yes he was very fond of sports evidences number 1 he knew the name danny kasi that means he knew the game of football well 
secondly he would go every weekend to the stadium as a pilgrimage ek yatra ke ritual ki tarah dharmik kriya ki tarah har shanivar ko wo match dekhne jate the ireland ki team ka iska matlab he loved sports third he was seen cheering the player he would not go just because he want he had to take the family na wo ek parivar ke mukhiya ke nate bachchon ko le ja rahe hon match dikhane aisa nahi tha wo khud match mein bada maza lete the he would himself be a part of the match spectator you remember he was shouting for kasi come on give pass come on give pass that what he was shouting that means he loved to sport from the core of his heart and fourth evidence when irish team wins the match by two goals to nil on way back he straight away doesn't go home straight away he goes to pub to enjoy and celebrate the victory of irish team the team that he loved these four example show that he was a great lover of sports next question did sophie ever met danny ever matlab kabhi what did she actually see kaise in person when did she actually see kaise in person when did she actually see kaise in person answer i have already given she never met and in person she met her in the play field only next question how was joff employed kaun se kaam mein laga tha joff was a mechanic and or that to an apprentice mechanic very short answer and he would go far away to learn to undergo training next question why did sophie choose to walk by the canal what did she do there why did sophie choose to walk by canal walk by the canal means canal ke kinare kinare पैदल जाना क्यों सुझाव ने शी वॉक अलॉन्ग द कनाल दैट यू नो बट वाई इट वॉज ए लोन प्लेस फार अवे फ्रॉम द क्राउड हम ड्रम एंड ऑल दैट शी वॉन्टेड टू स्पेंड एक्सक्लूसिव टाइम विद सम वन शी लव शी वॉज फैंटिसाइजिंग शी वॉज ड्रीमिंग ऑफ शी डि नॉट ट्रस्ट एनी वन and she felt that i must meet him all by myself mujhe swayam ko se milna hoga for one to one talk she felt that i'll sit on the bench on one side and like a uh, like a lover kaise will come and he'll sit by my side on the bench and then we'll talk that the reason why she wanted alone next question who was danny kasi how was his presence felt in sophie's family and how deeply he was uh with the young girl fascinated by the young girl डैनी कैसी कौन था उसकी उपस्थिति सोफी के परिवार वाले कैसे महसूस करते थे और सोफी अपने उसका जो नायक था कैसी उससे गहराई से कितनी आकर्षित हो गई थी दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन विच नीड ए प्रॉपर अंडरस्टैंडिंग प्रॉपर लैंग्वेज सेंटेंस फॉर्मेशन सो 
the answer may be somewhat like this he was a football player from ireland he had large number of fans so like sophie's family was also one of those fans he was a player of united team the name of the team was united and sophie's father compared him with another footballer tom finney who was another great player and felt that if he is allowed to grow up properly he can be even greater than that he felt that joff in fact the son felt that he can even prove to be greater than this player that means his talent was known to everyone as far as sophie is concerned sophie liked him very much family also liked him very much they they uh, they used to go every saturday to watch his match that is speaks that the whole family liked him loved him loved his game and when he scored the second goal the way the whole family cheered it showed that they were great fans of danny kasi in fact for sophie kasi was more than a footballer kasi was her hero something that she loved she was fascinated by kasi fascinated matlab bahut strong attraction she dreamt of him she would sit under a tree dream of him she would walk by canal dream of him and when he would not come she would feel really disappointed usko bahut nirasha hoti thi this disappointment at not coming at his not coming was also very clearly noticeable in sophie's behavior so that shows that sophie uh, saw kasi something beyond a footballer he was more than a footballer to sophie